the jump. A few years ago, my wife and I were driving home to Chicago from our in-laws place in Indiana. The highway, I-90, runs north to south through downtown before veering west towards O'Hare Airport. It was a Sunday afternoon and we expected heavy traffic. There's an intersection where I-90 and I-94 meet that is almost always guaranteed to be a parking lot. However, on this particular day, the traffic wasn't just light, it was virtually non-existent. My wife commented on how strange that was, and then I agreed. We didn't think anything of it until we passed through the downtown loop area. There are a number of overpass bridges in the section that we passed under, as we had done many times before. I knew that after the last bridge, our exit, Irving Park, was about 15 minutes away, traffic depending. But just a moment or two after we cleared that last bridge, I saw our exit sign fly by us. I thought that was odd at first. And had I been alone, I would have assumed I just zoned out to music or dozed off or something. But no sooner had the thought crossed my mind when my wife said, how did we get all the way up here? It was like we skipped over miles of highway in an instant. There were no other indicators, no flashes of light or anything like that. The encounter reminded me of those who claim to suddenly miss time, where hours will blink by in an instant, only instead of time, it was space. When I brought this story to the internet to see if anyone could offer an explanation, someone helpfully suggested I check my Google Timeline to see what it said. For those of you who don't know, Google Timeline is basically Google tracking your movements for various nefarious reasons, but they sell it to you as a helpful guide for figuring out where you left your keys or whatever. Going back through my movement history, I found the day in question, and what I saw there only raises further questions. My in-laws live roughly 90 minutes away from our house, but on that day, Google Maps lost its mind completely, and while it shows us traveling the route, it says it took us over 24 hours to drive less than 75 miles. I know traffic in Chicago gets bad, but this is ridiculous. 